Hello everyone, welcome to Byron Now, the ultimate Bayern Munich fan channel. I'm a little depressed, man, because <sighs> Max Erbel talking about Davis's new contract just had me. Ugh. So he said that, hey, look, we made Davies a very concrete and appreciative offer. At some point in life, you have to say yes or no. And then they asked him about Real Madrid, and he said, Madrid has not contacted us. The negotiations have been going on for a long time, but were a bit broken last summer. So those reports were right about, dang, Brazo, is ruin he ruined this club, man. We should have gotten Davis's contract done last year, and this club in such chaos just ruined everything. And he says we're working on this topic. Max Erbel. Hey, look, look at him, man. Hey, he might have been losing weight, man. I know I was calling him P Peter Griffin. I was saying all these crazy things. I was calling him Max Jubal. But hey, look, not only is he still stingy, he's, he's looking skinnier. That's good. So here's the thing. Byron are offering Davies a contract until 2029 with wages worth around 11 to 13 million gross per year plus add-ons. Byron bosses don't want to increase this offer and will not meet the demands of Davis's management up to 20 million a year. Either the player accepts this final offer or he can leave in the summer. Now, Madrid are really gunning for Alfonso Davies, but they will not pay 40 million, more than 40 million, to sign him this summer and are prepared to wait another year to acquire services on his free. Davis's desire is to join Real Madrid. Now, this is from Rodrigo Faiz. You look at his profile and he's España. So, of course, he's going to be a propagandist for Madrid and say Mad Davis's interest is to join Madrid. Fonzie, man, I want to keep him here. And some of you guys might be like, oh, he's demanding too much money. Look at what, what Gnabry's making. Look at what Kingsley Coman... What, what has Kingsley Coman and Gnabry achieved at this club since they got these big contracts? So if you're Davies, you're looking at this like, eh, man, I, I could be making a little more. I say make Davies... Top 10, oh, no, no. well, top 10 would really put him over a lot. Just get him up there. I mean, Kane's making 2.1 million. That makes sense. Neuer's up there. Muller's up there. We're going to free up Muller and Neuer anyways. Why don't we just give Davies a five-year contract? Not at, a, at exactly what he's looking for, but let's improve on those terms. What do you guys think about that? Because I'm, I'm over here like, I don't want to lose Davies, okay? I like Fonzie. I mean, the first Bayern Now video I ever made was on Fonzie. It was literally when he signed from uh, the Whitecaps in Vancouver. I was really excited for that. And he had a really good breakthrough season under Hansi Flick. It was amazing. He won the Champions League, but it really never clicked for him ever since then, and you just see him, and you're like, you could do a little more, you could, you could just add a little bit more bait, you could just do a little bit more, and it's like, eh, whatever, but I'm at a point where it's like, I think just keeping him for the optics is good, we don't want to be losing a player at 23, Fonzie's 23 years old, is he 24 yet? No way, he's 24, yeah, he's 23 years old, Newly 23 as well, so he turned 23 in November. Why don't we just keep him, and he, maybe he can go in four years when he's 27. But why? Are, he still has so much room to improve that I, I really don't think it's a good idea to just let him go to Madrid, especially if it's for free. So would we rather have him go to Madrid or try to improve on our offer? That's my question. Because Madrid are going to keep winning that Champions League. They're going to make all their money back on their investment. And for Davies. I, yo, Fonzie, if you have one bad performance in Madrid, man, just expect the first word in your comments on Instagram to start with N, followed by I. They're going to cook you, bro. They're going to go after you. If you just do anything in Spain against the opposition, you're going to be hearing ooh in the audience. So for you as a... Is it a, is a good decision? Also, Fonzie, I understand why he wants more. Because it's like everyone else is getting a lot, you know? Bums like Gnabry who barely play get a lot. So why why, why wouldn't I demand a lot? That's where Davies is like kind of right. I don't know.
What do you guys think about this? Do you guys think we should give Davies the money he wants? Just wanted to update you on this news and cry because it's sad. Goodbye. Mia, Mia, and peace.